Welcome to Head Rush Gaming. Uh, this is gonna be the first video that I'm talking, basically. So bear with me. Um, the subject of today's video is uh, basically a fix for uh, the FreeSync implementation I had on my uh, ultra wide monitor that I bought a couple of months ago, uh, which is the Viotech GN34C. Uh, the problem that I had basically is that the uh, free sync only starts about from 80 frames 80 Hertz to 100 Hertz uh, and the moment I hit that threshold uh, The screen would start flickering like hell or even uh, even some points just the computer would crash um, So I tried different video cards. I tried an RX 480 and RX 580 uh, I even had an R9 390 at one point, um, and it was basically the same across all cards. So it wasn't my PC or anything else. I tried with the monitor with another video card and another computer, and it still did the same thing. Um, so I contacted the company and basically said everything was fine, and it was on AMD's side. So I contacted AMD which at one point basically they threw the ball at the manufacturer so in the end i was stuck with my monitor with uh, no free sync and um, so at that point i started just browsing around the internet trying to find a fix and it actually is pretty simple uh, you just have to go onto your uh, radeon settings go onto display and then color death my monitor basically is a uh, it uh, it make up um, whatever basically this thing here and uh, you just have to switch it to six and now at that point you will stop having the flickers on your monitor and the reason why I have all these three pages here is these two monitors the microboard m340 seals Z and the Viotech one share the same panel as the Samsung CF91. Big difference is uh, it doesn't have quite quantum dot. It's just have the same p Samsung panel, but it's another implementation or anyway. Um, so all these three monitors has the same problem for what I've seen on the internet. Even Gamers Nexus did a little article on it. It's just right over here. And they tried out with Polaris and Vega. They had different results than what I had, but ultimately there was a little problem. So doing this little fix here with change of the color def will fix the free sync. And uh, as a little bonus, since the free sync range on this monitor is atrocious from 80 to 100 hertz, at this resolution is pretty freaking hard to get. Uh, on pretty much any AMD card um, after you've basically downscale the color def um, you can use a little um, program here it's called CRU custom resolution custom resolution utility uh, where you just have to basically change the range of the G-Sync uh, FreeSync uh, implementation normally here it's written from 80 to 112 Hertz I don't know exactly why the 112 but anyway so I just have to switch it 40 to 100 Hertz once this is done you just have to click OK and restart it's gonna basically restart the whole driver and at that point uh, you will have free sync from 40 Hertz to 100 Hertz which is a lot more forgiving than the original 80 to 100 hertz um so yeah this is a quick little video if you have any questions don't be shy ask me in the comments and uh thank you for tuning in